It's straight, it's hot, and it lasts. Straight hair is flaunted around as something to admire, and as something normal, and as something beautiful. But don't be fooled, and don't be deceived, by the appearance of things. Admiring straight hair, is to admire a defect, a mutation, a disorder, a disease. Straight hair is listed as a disease in the Molochards, an integrated database of human maladies, and this is, nothing to be admired. Straight hair is a disease, and a mutation of the TCHH gene, SNPRS3827760, Asian-specific alleles are of the eater, and FGFR2 genes, that are associated with thick straight hair, and these are involved in hair follicle development. Did you know this? Head full of lice. But lice have been very nice to 80 Horowitz. People were saying to me, oh, so you're a lice lady, or you're a knit lady. And I said, no, I'm the lice diva. How much money did you bring in last year? 1.7. That's 1.7 million. Straight hair is a defect, a mutation, a disorder, a disease. It is a disease of the mutated TCHH gene. Straight hair is attractive to head lice. The head lice, Pediculus humanus capitis, is an obligate ectoparasite of Europeans, Asians, and Hispanics. Head lice are wingless insects that spend their entire lives on the scalps of Europeans, Asians, and Hispanics, feeding exclusively on the blood of these three ethnicities. Europeans, Asians, and Hispanics are the only known hosts of this specific parasite, while chimpanzees host a closely related species, Pediculus sheffi. Other species of lice infest most orders of mammals and all orders of birds. The attractiveness of head lice to straight hair and the removal of head lice has grown into a $4 billion industry. Did you know this? They never develop the melanin stimulating hormone. This is why, this is why we're the only race on the planet that does not have head lice in our hair. Head lice. Head lice. They're little bugs. Yes. Cooties. Yeah. Cooties, right. Cooties. We're the only race on the planet. Did you know this? Well, now you know.